Hello, and welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Diamond Select Gallery Diorama Pennywise in the Box. So let's go ahead and spin around and take a closer look. All right, so he is a total of about 10 and a half inches tall and he is made of plastic. I would imagine uh, probably PVC. The paint app and weathering on him looks really well done. So I do like that. Uh, there is no movement here though. Uh, so the head does not move nor do the arms. but he does look a lot like he did in the movie. In fact, it's very, very accurate, except for maybe the hair, which speaking on that, I wish they had real hair and not uh, sculpted. And I also do wish that it functioned. Now, I think it was Party City or somebody last year had a Pennywise in the box that worked. Uh, this guy does not work. Take a look at the detailing on the box. It is weathered really nicely. I do love the paint apps here. Now this does turn, but uh, you're not able to do a full rotation on it, but you can kind of set it somewhat how you want. Underneath here. Not much going on but yeah it's all plastic although they've done a nice job in making it look like metal and that's about all there is to go over on this piece I ordered this from entertainment earth and I I shipped it super saver not knowing that it was going to take like a month to get in so uh, I'm kind of late to the game in receiving him I wouldn't recommend using Super Saver unless you just really don't care when it shows up because it will take forever. Now they say it chapter two, but uh, I remember the the uh, Pennywise in the box from it chapter one. I think it was from the uh, "You'll Be Afraid" scene, and uh, he looked just like that. Uh, so I don't really particularly remember him in it chapter two. Maybe you guys can correct me on that because I I'm sure I'm wrong because they put it on the box. But I really only remember this from it chapter one. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of curious about that. I guess they use it for, in both movies, and if so, why didn't they just put it chapter one or just it on the box? I'm not really understanding the it chapter two designation just because this is exactly how he looked in it chapter one and i don't specifically remember him in chapter two but i could be wrong but regardless i like this piece a lot and i think it's like 45 bucks um, but it's actually made really well uh, i really like the paint apps that diamond select has done on this and uh, i do wish that it worked and i do wish that it had real hair and not sculpted but those are kind of nitpicks. I wouldn't actually play with it and make him, you know, jump out of the box or anything like that. I would probably just leave him how he is now anyway. So that's really just a nitpick for me. Maybe others would want to use them, but not, not really for me in my collection. I'd be curious to see what you guys think of him. I, again, like I really like him, but maybe you guys not so much. Maybe you guys uh, had the, um, the one that was released at Party City, I'm sure it was in other places, but I remember seeing it in Party City. And uh, I think it was like 25 bucks. It was significantly cheaper, but it still looked cool. Um, but I actually think I prefer this guy better. And going into this, I felt like I was going to have the opposite thoughts. But I think this guy's pretty cool and he will look cool on my shelf. And I'm sure he will look cool on yours too. As always, feel free to leave me questions or comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. 
And until next time, I'll see you guys later.